Yeah, my um, hamstring butt is just locked up, so every step is kind of on the right side, it's kind of excruciating. The mountains are so steep. It's uh, beyond my imagination. Ah, it's endless. Welcome to Mont Blanc, the highest peak in the Alps. A mountain so vast it lives in three countries, France, Italy, and Switzerland. Nearby 10,000 runners stand ready for the UTMB, five ultra races considered the most difficult in the world. How difficult? The UTMB main race circumnavigates Mont Blanc, 166 kilometers with 9,600 meters of vertical ascent and descent, or vert. Translated, that means running four marathons in one day while climbing up and down Mount Everest. A race for crazy people. This is Amy Sproston. Amy is type A and plans to win the UTMB. This is Rui Ueda, also type A. Rui plans to win the CCC, a sister race of 101 kilometers with 6,100 meters of vert. And this is Tomo Araki. He is less than type A. He works for Columbia Sportswear, and his boss is punishing him by making him run the CCC. I'm kidding. He chose to do it. Seriously. He paid his own airfare. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention. Only half of the runners will finish. This will be my fourth UTMB, and it's a race that I've been highly unsuccessful at. The first year I did it, I finished it, but it was a shortened course because of weather. And then the second and third time I tried it, I um, dropped out both times from health issues. I know I'm going to be very, very tired uh, later part of the race, so um, I got to hold up and uh, hang in there, and somehow uh, I'm going to finish it. Running is the one thing that I've kind of always identified with throughout my life. I think it's when I have my clearest thoughts, it's when I solve a lot of problems that are, you know, I'm going through in my head. This year at Western States, I was second um, and ran under 19 hours, which was a first for me in a 100 miler. For UTMB, the winning woman is about 25 hours, and I hope to be somewhere between about 25 and 29 hours is my goal. The issue isn't the, the technicality of it, it's really the, the vert and the fact that the last three climbs, which are the three climbs I've never done, are supposed to be the worst. Actually, I don't train much compared to other you know, runners. I'm just an ordinary runner, not an expert or competitive. I don't think so. I was born in the uh, southern part of Japan. Now I'm uh, working in uh, Tokyo. That's a very uh, difficult thing to manage for uh, you know, work, family, and run. Sometimes I take my whole day off for running, but uh, my family understands that. It's, uh, how can I say, medicine uh, to my life. Europe race, I've been experiencing the CCC for the last year. キロ登り続けるっていうところがあって、そこが一番メンタル的に挑戦の違いがあるところで、今年脱水症状は去年経験しての気をつけて全部自分の力を出し切れるように走りたいと思います。まあ楽しく走れた結果が一位につながると思っ
you often wonder like why would someone pay money to do this? I mean it's like beating your head against the wall at times. Definitely a, a difficult challenge. Running a ultra race is kind of like going through a lifetime in a day in terms of you know, like highs and lows and figuring out how to how to persevere. Try to be patient, keep motivated, and um, try to be positive all the time. Don't look back. As daylight wavers, the shock of the race takes hold. I just got to keep going. If I give up, you know, my, uh, my kids uh, love me up. I won't give up. But just locked up, so every step is kind of on the right side. It's kind of excruciating. A lot of pain is going away after like 25 or 30 miles, so I'm hoping it just kind of numbs up. I'm <laughs> Uh, I'm right here. I got two more mountains coming up. Ah, oh, it's so steep. Ah, oh, it's endless. いつも大変な時は、まあ呼吸を落ち着けるようにしたり意識したりだとか、それはものすごい達成感がありますし、もう体も動かない状態なので、疲れて充実感に満たされるというか。I'm pukey. Uh, I haven't eaten anything in like hours. I mean, I really want to finish here, but I also really want to finish that I'm proud of. After I'd been vomiting for 14 hours, I just had so low energy that I was kind of falling asleep on my feet. After 20 hours and 124 kilometers of grueling mountain terrain, Amy withdrew from the UTMB 41 kilometers from the finish. <laughs> Let's go! は本当はなんか辛いことが多くてこのままゴール車泣くんじゃないかなと思ったんですけどそのゴール前の人だかり完成のがすごすぎてま全部そんなことは忘れてしまって楽しくゴールできました。
ultra running and, and really kind of any type of endurance sport um, is good for a lot of life lessons. Just, you know, persevering and like work ethic and setting goals and then trying to accomplish those goals. Yeah, like right now I kind of feel like I suck. One thing about ultra is that sometimes it all comes together and sometimes things just, the wheels fall off and today the wheels just kind of fell off. But usually a DNF will motivate me to come back the next time and kind of learn from the lessons. As Nietzsche said, the mountains of truth are never climbed in vain. Either you will reach a point higher up today, or you will train to climb higher tomorrow. The il en détresse complète. Si vous avez déjà souffert un petit peu dans le cours de vous, voilà le bon molosseux, c'est pas. On ne peut pas de moi dans votre bois, c'est une prise de sang. I feel awesome. Last three mountains, they are they were actually killing me. But I did anyway. It's very a very special moment to feel the atmosphere. Of course, you won't get that you know, feeling unless you decided to run this kind of race.楽しく走りたいという景色を綺麗な景色を見たいというのが一番のモチベーションかなというふうに思います。え、に出会えるっていうのが一つで、まあもう一つはそのえ、まあ心拍数が上がったり、まあ本当に何も音がないところで自分の